Good afternoon and welcome to your science review with Mr. Blades. Today we're going to start covering vector addition because with projectile motions it's important to know this stuff. All right? So you can tell that I have drawn three vectors up here on the board. You can tell they're vectors because they each have a magnitude, which is their length that I've already drawn on there, and a direction indicated by the little arrowhead at the tip of it. In order to add these vectors together, what we're going to do is we're going to draw them head to tail, head to tail. So let's start off by drawing a 30 centimeter vector, like so, 30 centimeter. And now we're going to add it to our 40 centimeter vector by drawing a 40 centimeter vector on the nose of it, right there. See, 40 centimeters. Now, just like with any addition, we have a result. Just like you'd add 30 and 40 to get 70, we added our 30 centimeter vector to our 40 centimeter vector and we're going to get a resultant vector, all right? That word resultant means the result of the two addition. The resultant vector can be drawn by connecting the tail of the first one to the head of the last one, all right? That's not a terribly good one, but that is how we do from there to there. Okay? Exactly. And whatever that vector is, that's the result. That is our result in addition. And later on, we're going to analyze it using that angle. But let's go ahead and do one in particular situation that will be easy for everyone to recognize. Let's go ahead and draw our 40 centimeter vector. 40 centimeters and add it to our 30 centimeter vector there we go you guys should recognize this as a right angle and we've added those two together now in order to find out the length of our resultant vector, the vector that goes from the tail to the head up here, we're going to use what you've probably already guessed by now, and we're going to use Pythagorean's theorem. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. In this case, we can say that a squared, a is our 40 centimeter side, and b is our, our 30 centimeter side. So let's go ahead and plug in our numbers. 40 squared plus 30 squared equals c squared. Now, 40 squared plus 30 squared is equal to 2,500, and that's our c squared. Now, if we square both sides, square root both sides, you'll see that our c, our hypotenuse, is 50 centimeters long. And let's go ahead and check to see if that is, in fact, the case. Boom. That is 100% correct. That is the basics of vector addition. We'll explore that much more detail in class and throughout our projectile motion lab. So I hope this was helpful, and see you in class.